Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make these little hearts. Just paper hearts, and they're just kind of woven, one piece woven into the other. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, if you use double-sided paper, then you just need like uh, about a quarter of an inch to yeah, about a quarter of an inch to one, two and a half inches, okay? Um, I'm using single-sided, so I had to fold mine in half. So mine is three quarters of an inch by two, two and a half inches, okay? So you just need two contrasting colors or two colors that look to nice together. Here, I'll do this one next. Um, I'm going to use up this glue here, all right? So I'm just gluing mine together because that way it's easier to maneuver it around once it's been glued. And just a little bit of glue. You don't need very much. Just enough to say you did it. All right. So then what you're going to do is you're going to cross the, the two bottoms. So you're going to put a little glue down here. And you can lay this one on it right here. Okay. So let me bring that up and show you what I did. Okay. So I just made the letter V. Okay, and then we're going to take this one and I'm going to turn it over because you want to curl them up just a little bit because then you're going to take this one and you're going to, you're going to twist it over and glue that right here. Okay, and then you're going to twist this one over and glue this one right here. Okay. So, and one of them can go under the other one. So, and it doesn't matter which one, you can either leave them on top like this, or you can tuck one of them under, meaning once you glue, if you glue this one down here, then when you do this, instead of gluing it on top, you can slide it underneath here and glue it on the back. Okay. So then it looks like that. And that kind of holds it together already by itself. Isn't that interesting? So you're just going to weave those two pieces over and then you're going to put glue inside here. And you want to line that up. So it's lined up right next to this one. Hold it for a moment. Okay. And then this one here, you want the glue on. And I'll show you an easier. I'm just trying to do it up here close so you can see see what I'm doing here. There. Okay. And then you can press it down and burnish it really good. And then just kind of form that the top like this. Okay. So then you're going to come out with a shape like this. You've got your little heart. And then we're going to take a flower. I use little dinky flowers on this. I was wondering what, what it would look like with a bigger one. That would be cute too. Let's put that one on there. So we're going to stick some glue on there. Turn it over and hold it down for a moment. And then we're going to need a little, a little gem to go right in the middle of the flower. So we're creating a little floral heart. Isn't that cute? A heart with a flower in the middle. Kind of different looking, huh? So these are fun, simple little embellishments that you can make with little tiny scraps here. All right, so let's make a couple more. I've got enough to do three more. So let me, let me do this one. I'll do another dark one first. Okay, we're just going to do a line of glue here and close it. A line of glue here. And close it okay then we're gonna put come on up we're gonna put a dab of glue here stick this one to it hold on to it for a moment and you want it to be flat on either side you want it to be up against the edge on each side okay so nothing's hanging over and you can feel the the sides of both of them if you go like this okay once that's done, then turn it over and you want to kind of curl curl the bottom part here from where the fold is. You don't have to do the tips, the outer edge, but 
mainly this part so that you can fold the, the top of the heart over. Okay, so then we're gonna take this one, the first one, and you know you're gonna fold that one upside down like that. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna go turn it over so it's going in the same direction. Okay, and you make it like a little, a little red riding hood hat or something. Okay, so we know we're gonna put glue on the back side of this. Okay, fold that over and hold it down up against the edge, line it up against the bottom here, and make sure that you're lining it up against this one that's right next to it, the same one. So you want it to be laying like this, okay? So see how I've got it folded over like that? Okay, so you want this to be lined up together and this to be lined up down here. And then hold that real good. Okay, then we're gonna put a little glue on the back of this one. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take it and we're gonna flip it over. It's a little bit hard. You can flip it over and then press it down and hold it. Okay. So you can either do it this way or you can take this one and you can tuck it in behind and glue it in that way. Okay, whichever way you want to do it. This one, I guess I'm gonna to have to do it this way because I already did that. We'll hold that down again. I don't think this way looks as nice, but, but it looks okay. Either way, actually, I guess they look kind of similar. <laughs> I don't think it really matters either way. So if you wanna tuck it in behind or, or just do it right in the front, either way is good, I guess. All right, then we're gonna do a little bit Glue on here and stick this flower on. Okay, and hold that there. And then we'll take one of these pink gems and put it right in the middle. Ta-da! So these ones all have little gems, little flowers, and these ones all have big ones. So I guess I could pull out two more of those medium-sized flowers. I know I've got more in here. Where are they? There's one. And here's another one. Oops, there's two more, okay. All right, so again, just glue my pieces together. Okay. And then fold it over, let it glue. Put glue on the bottom corner. Put this one on. Make sure you're creating that V. Hold it together real good. Okay, then curl just the bottom portion of it. That's towards the bottom of the V. Turn it over. So the claws are going upwards. You can take the first one and you're gonna curl it over like this. <laughs> and then you know you put the glue on the back side. Okay. And then hold it up against this edge and then try to lay this flat here. Okay, hold this together for just a few moments. That should be good. Put glue on the back side or the front, depending on if you're gonna turn it this way, you're gonna turn it around again. And then if you want, if you want to glue it on the front here, then you just put the glue right there. If you want to slide it underneath, then you can turn it over and glue it from the back side. So it's totally up to you. Either way it works. And just make sure you hold these so they can dry. All right, there. And then put a little dab of glue in the middle. Lay the flower down. Okay, get a little gem. Put that in the middle. Ta-da, that one's done. Alrighty, and then we have these two to do. So, a line of glue, close it up. A line of glue. Close it up, 
Okay, put glue down here on the bottom. Take this one, hold it together. Make sure you make that nice and tidy V. Okay, and then curl just the bottom, the lower part of the back. Turn them over so the claws are up. Okay, put, and the first one I like to do is whatever one's on the bottom, this one's on the bottom of mine, this one's on the top. So whatever one's on the bottom, that's the one I like to fold first. Okay, so I know I'm going to flip it over this way and put it right here. Okay, so put glue on the back side here and glue it down and hold it. So make sure you line it up to this edge here and then make sure that it's lined up neatly with the other half of it. All right, like that. Hold that for a moment. Okay. And then are you going to tuck it in the back or tuck it in the front? I think I'm going to do the back with this one. So that means I'm going to the same same fold over, but I'm going to slide it through first and behind and then I'm going to turn it over and we're going to put glue on this part. Whoops. And then we're going to push it together here because we want the two pieces lined up and then line it up against the bottom here. All right. Very good because we're working on the back side. So you gotta line it up good. Okay, then you can turn it over and you can burnish that down. You can take a little bit of glue in the center. Put your flower in there. And get your little gem. Put the gem in the center of the flower. Ta-da! Aren't they pretty? I love how they look. All right, so a little heart, a flower heart embellishment. So let me put these on a, on a paper here. Oh, I better turn it over, huh? Well, not that that's gonna make that much of a difference. All righty. <laughs> there, now I can bring them up so you can see. Aren't they pretty? Okay, now for mailing purposes, if you're going to hand a card to somebody, then you can just hand it, you know, you can put these on the on a card front and hand it to them without having to worry about these squishing down. If you're going to mail it, then you may want to go ahead and just press them down and try to make it even. Isn't that cool? So you still have your little heart shape. I think I might want to put a, a little 3D dot underneath there, though. Because I kind of like it lifted up. So let's see. I'm going to do that now while you're watching. So that way you can see if you prefer it that way. All right, I need my sticky scissors. This is the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm just going to slide it in there so that this, the corner, is up inside there. Like that. There. Now it'll fold down, but it won't totally collapse. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Put that corner up in there. Go ahead and press it down a little. But that will force it to stay up a little bit. Okay, so if you like them with the 3D dots, or just open like this, either way, or you can just press it all the way down and fold it. Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And again, please continue giving me those thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really does help with YouTube. So, and until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.